Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be reviewing a perfume that I've known about for quite a while. And honestly, when I first, first found out about this perfume, I honestly was kind of hoping it would be another Killer Queen, even though a lot of people are saying that they're getting fed up with the Killer Queen line or whatever. But I had this whole idea of what this perfume could have looked like. I love this... I'm just a mess today. I love the smell of this perfume. Um, so I don't really want to change the notes any, but I, I like the bottle a lot, but... I kind of wish it would have been the bottle I designed, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but so this is Katy Perry's Mad Potion. This is a whole brand new pillar fragrance to the Katy Perry fragrance lineup. And I find it really funny that this is kind of like an Alice in Wonderland theme that Katy's got going on, whether she tries to do it or not. Um, I thought, I think somebody else had mentioned something about this, but I thought about this even when the Killer Queen line came out. So you had the first two, which Purr and Meow, which were like the Cheshire Cat. Because even if you think about it, like the purple and the pink were the color of the Cheshire Cat. And then you go into the Killer Queen line, which was like the Queen of Hearts, with like the reds and whatnot. And then, um, with Mad Potion, this is like the Drink Me, like, you got Mad for like the Mad Hatter, but then you also on top of that you have like mad for like the potion being like the drink mean that makes us smaller blah 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 i continue to ramble on so anyway here is the box so on the front it says katy perry's mad potion and it's kind of like cool metallic glittery font i just got the one ounce which i'm really mad about because um i mean i'm extremely happy that i have this i love that i have this um, one of my dearest, dearest friends actually got this for me. Um, thank you to Melissa. But, um, when we had bought this, we bought it off Cole's website, like, the moment that the one ounce launched. And then, like, the next day, or, like, later that day, I'm not even sure, the the 50 milliliter got launched. Which, I mean, the pricing for the 50 milliliter is ridiculous, because it's, like, $29.99 for the one ounce, and then it's, like, $49.99 for the, the 1.7 ounce. Which, I mean... $49.99 is not bad because that's kind of normal, but it's just so weird that a drastically price difference between the two sizes. But then it's got these like polka dots that kind of go all around the bottle, the box, I mean. They literally are all around the box, but it's kind of like gold frame all the way around it. And then you got all of the information on the bottom. The bottle, which and when I saw the production of this production image of this bottle, I wasn't immediately like, yes, but now that I have it, I love this and I can't wait to see it in bigger sizes. It looks like this. The liquid is actually tinted purple. Um, it's kind of in like this frosted glass potion looking bottle. It says Katy Perry's Mad Potion here on the front. And it's kind of got this wax seal little thing on it, which kind of reminds me of a bottle of Patron. Like this is where I'm kind of getting from this. And then you've got these like um, soccer sock looking rings around the top of the bottle and then you've got this big like um globe on top which is kind of like this speckly purple looking glittery thing and then when you pull the lid off you've got this metallic purple sprayer which honestly i really wish this little perfect purple sprayer metallic color would have been the color of this top bottle i think that would have been really cool to see but i still like it nonetheless um the notes for this fragrance top notes are tahitian vanilla orchid um, sweet white peony and fresh crisp apple, um, and musk. The middle notes are Madagascar bourbon vanilla, luminous jasmine petals, and soft with fluffy musk, with base notes of Madag Madagascan, no, Mexican, wow, I cannot talk to that. Mexican vanilla bean, absolute, and glowing amber. So this fragrance has three different types of vanilla, two different types of musk, with some extra florals thrown in there, and I must tell you, I am in love with this. This is the first time that a celebrity has released a true vanilla fragrance that I have fell in love with. This fragrance cannot get any more vanilla if it freaking tried. I don't know if you guys remember, if you were a 90s kid, you probably remember this. Um, they used to have these things called the Body Mist or the or Body Fantasies, and they came in these cute little, like, 
I think they were like a buck at Walmart when they came out, but like they were like this big and they came in like a bottle that was shaped like this, kind of like they went like this. And then like the top was like a blue sprayer and they had like these like fairies that danced around the, like the, the cap was like a bunch of little fairies. But they had one called Vanilla and that's what this reminds me of but more grown up and more perfume like. So, um, first off, when you first spray it, if you don't think you smell vanilla, you, you need to go get your nose checked because you smell vanilla throughout the whole entire fragrance. But when you first spray it, it's kind of a little more floral vanilla. It's very light. Um, you get the peony with the apple kind of playing parts there, but you really smell the vanilla. But it's kind of, like I said, it's a very floral vanilla. As it kind of dries down into its heart, you get that bourbon vanilla, which if you guys have followed me for however long you guys have followed me, you guys know I love bourbon vanilla. It is in, I don't even know if you guys can see it, no, because my couch is hiding it, but back down here is Jessica Simpson's J by Jessica, or Jessica Simpson, Jessica, Jennifer Aniston. Wow, I cannot talk today. Jennifer Aniston's J has bourbon vanilla in it. I love the way that bourbon vanilla adds this amazing quality to a perfume. So, as it dries down to the heart, you get more of that kind of like caramely bourbon vanilla, that really like rich, deep, earth, like not earthy, but kind of boozy vanilla. And I know when I said the boozy vanilla in the Jennifer Aniston review, so many people were off put by it and they went and smelled it and loved it. That's the same thing you're going to do with this, I promise you guys. I love the way that this vanilla works in the middle. The jasmine is kind of there to back it up and then you can start to smell that musk. Um, but then again with the musk being in the top, I don't really feel like there's a huge difference between the fluffy vanilla musk, or the fluffy musk, and the regular musk that's on the top. It's weird that there's a musk in the top, because normally you don't see that, but this is a mad potion. This is Katie going mad and concocting whatever she wants to make. So, it does work really, really well though, because it keeps it that kind of like, um, as a strange factor to the fragrance, which when you smell it, you'll understand what I mean. But it, there's just this strange kind of quality to the fragrance that makes it so much better. Um, as it starts to dry down a little bit more, we get into that vanilla bean absolute, which is exactly what it is. That base is nothing but that amber to add that warmth to the fragrance, but it is so strong vanilla. Like this fragrance, I sprayed it when I first got it about 11 o'clock this morning. Um, it is currently almost 5 o'clock, and... It smells so good. Like, I can still smell it on me. I can still smell that vanilla and the amber warmth on me. Um, this fragrance is nice because it does change a little bit, but it just kind of really changes the way that the vanilla presents itself. So this isn't something that is going to... not The top to the middle of the base doesn't change a whole lot, but I will say that I do really like the way that it smells, and I do like the way that it kind of changes a little bit and gets a little more... Um, mysterious as it goes on but i love 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 this fragrance it hit every single mark i was expecting it to i kind of had this impression in my mind of what this was going to smell like and this completely surpassed it i am beyond in love with this i know i say that about every Katy perry fragrance i swear but i love 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 mad potion i can't wait to see what the spinoff of it comes out to be and smell like um already a lot of you guys know mad love is supposed to be the spinoff for that and I can't wait to see that and what it ends up being. It's going to be so amazing. If this is this good, what, like, I can't wait to see what she does. Because, in my opinion, Katie constantly is topping herself. I know a lot of people say that they aren't a huge fan of the Killer Queen line and stuff like that. Because it's, they're all kind of interpretation of other fragrances. But I love, love, love this fragrance. Completely new. It's a new type of vanilla. If you love vanilla fragrance, this is definitely something I would give a try to. So... There you guys go. Thanks so, so much for watching. As always, follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much. Bye.